I really didn't believe that I had a problem until I actually was on my way to the hospital here in Tyler. My life stopped because they told me the aneurysm could rupture at any point in time. And so I had the gown on and everything. They were fixing to hook IVs up. And I said, no, there's got to be a better way. I knew I didn't want to have open heart surgery. At the last minute, I put my overalls back on and I left the hospital. My friends said I was playing Russian roulette with my life. They thought I was going to die. Shelly's a neat lady. She was diagnosed by her cardiologist as having an aneurysm of her aorta as well as a leaky valve. She lives alone, needs to take care of her household. She does live with a 75-pound dog. In coming here, we were able to merge two things that she really wanted. She wanted the latest and greatest valve technology and root replacement, meaning the connect graft, and she also wanted a less invasive approach. Dr. Dulab took into consideration where I lived and what I was trying to do. He actually took my situation and he was like more of a friend than, than he was a, a doctor, which was really nice. And we approached her with the idea of the mini thoracotomy approach, meaning not dividing her breastbone, simply going between her ribs, which would dramatically improve her recovery and as well her ability to be independent again. In the realm of cardiac surgeries, aortic root replacements are considered very big operations. Not only do we replace the valve, but we replace the aorta. But in order to do that, we have to reimplant the coronary arteries or the arteries that feed the heart muscle. Due to the tremendous volume of surgeries that we do here at UT Southwestern, we were able to offer Shelley the connect valve. Not only do we have a graft to replace the aorta, but the mechanical valve portion of it is replaced with a bioprosthetic valve it doesn't require the lifelong Coumadin or the requirement for blood thinners. So this was an especially appealing option for her. UT Southwestern was amazing how they all worked as a team together to make everything run so smoothly, all the way from picking me up at the airport and taking me to the hotel. Shelly did very well. Her surgery was roughly about three and a half hours. The following day, she was sent to a private room in the hospital where she stayed an additional three days. So she was in and out of the hospital in four days, which is tremendous for this type of operation. It's a wonderful hospital. And I had a number, if I had any problems, to call them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They just took me under their wing. It just was a very good feeling. Given that we were able to offer her the mini thoracotomy approach, we didn't have to wait the traditional six to eight weeks for her breastbone to heal. So she was quickly back to her normal routine. I feel great now. I don't feel like my health is at risk if I go and climb that ladder, or if I walk daisy, or if I do anything that is strenuous. I wake up every day and tell God thank you for what Dr. DeLob did for me because he saved my life, and my life is definitely going to be a lot better now.